Hello from Entire Products. Today, I would like to present a product called PowerPDU 8QS. Basically, it's one UPDU for your rack. It can be montage from the front or from the side, or it can be even vertically or horizontally. Depends on the holders you want. In the standard package is included this holder for the one U montage, but you can order some, some, other, some other montage options. Uh, this product is basically PDU, so there is one further input for 16 amps and eight outputs, each one up to 10 amps. Uh, there is a power switching on each output. So basically you can open the web interface of this output and on the web interface, you can switch on or switch off each one output. And for the total, so power input, power inlet, or for output number one, there is also metering of the power consumption and all, all energy consumption. Uh, as a tiny tip, there is also reverse energy. So it can also meter, meter the energy which is going in the wrong direction from your photovoltaic or something like that. Anyway, uh, this metering option is there available only on output number one. On the others, you can see there is only switch on and off. And this switch can be also dedicated by the scheduler. Scheduler is basically something that you can program each output will be switched on and switched on in a certain time or with the daylight or sunset. Uh, main application for this product is basically remote restarting. For remote restarting, uh, you can do it manually. So from the web interface of the unit, yes, nice. But sometimes you need to do it remotely where you are really not online or where you are really not connected to this, to this, to this, to this uh, network. So we support their feature called NetIO Cloud, which is a service uh, for three years. It's included in the price of the unit, then it's paid. And through the SSL, there is a connectivity with the device from the cloud. And you can control from this cloud all the devices connected to your user account. You can contact, connect this user account also to your mobile app called NetIO Mobile 2. And then from your uh, packet, you can control all your NetIO devices anywhere you are. That's very nice for the remote starting manually. Uh, sometimes you need to connect this for the application, so for your own software. Because of that, we support quite a lot of open API. So you can control this output through SNMP version one or version three, through Modbus TCP, JSON, XML, and so on and so on. All this, all these interfaces are fully documented on our website. Not everyone is programmer. So in that case, you need a driver for your system. So if you have in your smart home or shop or something like that, control for Creston, Brightside or some other system, this is the list of the, of the supported audio video drivers. Of course, the drivers are more and more every day. Not all the drivers support even the reading of the power consumption and so on, but it depends on the driver. Sometimes it's quite useful to have a feature that this device realized there is a problem. This device can realize autonomously there is a problem uh, based on the several features. Uh, we have there something we call PAB, power analyzed blocks. And based on that, we are able to detect that the power consumption on output number one dropped down from something like 100, 150 watts to seven watts or eight watts. That's typical situation where your big TV screen uh, hangs out, is, is switched automatically to the idle mode, and basically the TV is black. So we are able to detect that from the Natayo and restart your TV autonomously. And based on that, uh, your TV can be continuously running. Uh, second option to detect there is something wrong with the device is basically the pinging to the device. We call it uh, IP watchdog. So basically port number two can ping to certain, certain IP address. If there is no answer, restart the connectivity or switch on backup connectivity. That's also option. Quite unique feature of this unit is this green terminal block. This green terminal block is basically one digital input and 12 volts output. So you can connect, for example, uh, for example, motion detector, or motion sensor, and detect that in the room is someone already for last 30 minutes, there was no movement or something like that, or there is a uh, leaving, leaving button and you switch, switch the button and based on that, shut down half of the ports and some others keep running or something like that. That all can be happened, that all can be realized with the PDU 8QS. Thank you very much for watching this video and find more details on our website.